<clears throat> All right, my friends, let's do this. It is time for episode 67 of my Sunday night stay at home bodies virtual open mic where I post a set here on YouTube that I also share on my Facebook thread eight o'clock Sunday night specific time and invite my music friends to do the same but mostly I go looking for them I find their discographies and websites and whatnot and I'm working my way through their various uh, songs and I've listened to some of my friends' entire catalog that, you know, they did 20 years of recording and I've listened to it in the last six months. Um, and uh, always welcome uh, and always looking for more. So if you're a friend of mine and you have a page, you can also just link me to the page, get a hold of me somehow and show me where it is and I'll find it and start listening to your stuff. Or you can just post a, a link or a video over there on Facebook or here under this video, 8 o'clock Sunday nights, Pacific time. All right, little pregame. Let's get some incense going. There we go. Feeling light. All right, uh, let's see. Going old school again. I really like uh, doing that. I, it's enough to just blow some smoke around here, but I don't like the ongoing smell of burnt smoke. So I uh, pop my joint into those tubes, one of those tubes, cap it up. Oxygen starve that sucker. This is a little bit of pure cranberry juice, a vitamin C powder of your choice. My choice is tangerine grapefruit emergency, I believe. Fill the rest up with water. Add yourself a little bit of the whiskey of your choice. Mine is the Bog Dylan, and it's not much because I, I mean, mine is the Bob Dylan whiskey. I call the whole drink the Bog Dylan. So we just pour that in there. Just a little bit. I'm not much of a drinker. Mmm. Mmm. Nothing like a Bog Dylan. <laughs> you see, cranberries grow in bogs. Okay. Uh, let's get the guitar. <clears throat> now we are we're going to do uh some insect songs tonight. Believe it or not, I have maybe I've got more, but I know for sure that I have 3 songs about insects. Yeah. <laughs> Woke up this morning, half my head was gone Woke up this morning, half my head was gone Female of mine, been chewing all night long Once I caught a scent, I knew I had to pay my dues Once I caught a scent, I knew I had to pay my dues. I got the male of the species, praying mantis blue. She was hot twice my size, she was looking good. She was twice my size. Was looking good. I guess I lost my head just like I knew I would. Something 
things in this life They just come with some abuse Some things in this life They just come with some abuse I got the male of the species Praying mantis blues When she said all night long all night long When she said all night long She meant her all night long Woke up this morning Half my head was gone She don't have it easy I'm sure she's got her troubles too I know that she don't have it easy I know she's got her troubles too But I got the mail of the species Praying mantis blues Woke up this morning Half my head was gone Woke up this morning, half my head was gone That female of mine, been chewing all night long I'll tell my praying mantis story very briefly here because some of you probably already heard this, but when I lived in Iowa, I had a little terrarium that I put a uh, praying mantis in that I had found. And a uh, nice big one, and you know, I would, feed, uh, I would feed it bugs and things that I found around the house, which are no problem in Iowa. There was a lot of bugs in the Midwest. So one day I was on this job where I was helping someone load trucks, and uh, we were loading these trucks, and... Uh, this it was nighttime there were lights up against this warehouse and this little boom, this thing flew by that seemed to cut the air like it had a really sharp edge to it and it buzzed by my head and i just reached out and grabbed it and it was a little teeny praying mantis about this big at first i just thought oh this is a baby but no wait a minute it flew here and it and it was just going at me like biting my hand with the with the front legs and just you know look and i realized oh shit this is the male this is the male of the species here i've got a female at home and all i think all i'd ever seen were females and in the in, in iowa there's a big ass uh praying mantises all over the place and uh and uh they were you know sometimes six inches long mine was about i don't know maybe four four and a half or whatever and so I quickly put this one in a little jar, and he's in the jar going, like, just way less docile than, the, than my female. So I took him home, and I opened up my tank. It had a little uh, screen top. I opened up the thing, and I you know, dumped the, the little male in there. And the female happened to be hanging upside down under the screen, just like that. So this little guy, he looks up, he lands on the ground, looks up at her, and literally, I don't remember if I had some branches in there or if he just jumped, but he, he, it took him about a second to scamper up to the top of the uh, screen, crawl over very quickly to where she was, jump on, whip the abdomen around, and these things are fucking within like 10 seconds of when I dropped this in there. They're just like, boom. And I was like, damn. <laughs> And so I thought it was funny. So I, you know, I, I went away for a while, came back like six, eight hours later, still just no change, you know, some abdominal pulsation going on, but no, no they weren't breaking up. And so uh, the next morning I went to look again and they're still at it. That's where the line, when she said all night long, she went all night long. So, and I look, but the, the male doesn't look right. And so I look in a little closer and I realize that half of his head <laughs> 
has been chewed off. Because I don't think science is actually sure about this, but um, some people say the male can't release the sperm until the female chews the head off, or he's uh, she's making sure that uh, she gets all the genes from this particular... I don't understand it, but nevertheless, the head was gone. Uh, however, the fucking continued. <laughs> and um, I think it was the next morning that I looked in the tank, and he was on the ground, all six legs, just kind of, you know, up like this, and he's completely fucked out. So I gave him a little a dojo bow and uh, said, well, you know, not a bad way to go. Years later, I thought of this when I was writing The Praying Mantis Blues, which you just heard me play. Um, if you search Praying Mantis Blues Gene Burnett, um, you'll, uh, you'll get a version from my album Crooked Love back in 2014. And my the late, great Pete Herzog plays a slide guitar part uh, for that song. It's just the two of us. And it is absolutely superb. It's just so great. Every time I go to, like if I'm on a thread on Facebook and someone mentions Praying Mantises or something and we're friends, I might throw the Praying Mantis song in there. Like, hey, I got a song about that. And uh, every time I do that, I go to YouTube and I think, ah, I'll just listen to the intro. And I put it on. And every time Pete's playing, sucks me into the whole listening to the entire song because it's so good. So Pete Herzog, wherever you are, hope you're making music. And uh, do check out Praying Mantis Blues featuring Pete Herzog. Okay, this one. This one I wrote in 1986, and it was the very first time that I had the experience of. Very first time I had the experience of writing. Um, a song that I considered to be just a fun little throwaway, like almost nothing, uh, that took half an hour, 45 minutes or less to write, and yet became a song that people just loved and requested and was one of the songs I was you know, known for a little bit in Seattle when I was playing up there back in the 80s. And uh, yeah, it, it surprised the hell out of me. It was just a little kind of a goof for me. Um, 20 minutes and people walk up to me, dude, that's the best song you ever wrote. It's like, thanks. It took you 20 minutes. And uh, the uh, Jump You Fuckers was another one uh, about the uh, Wall Street crash there back in 2009. I just, I knew it was funny, but I didn't think it was going to do anything like it did. And it became kind of a little, I don't know if it's viral, but it got a sniffle as far as I'm concerned. Between all the various places that song is featured or covered or, or, you know, fan made into videos, uh, I would say it's probably got half a million views, which for, you know, an old guy in Oregon is, you know, like, wow, that's, you know, kind of nice. Mexico with evil on our minds We don't care about the border patrol We laugh as we fly by This is the land of milk and honey We are here to stay We're not the kind of bees that you can shoo away No, we are good bees gone bad Killer bees, good bees gone bad. Good bees gone bad. Killer bees, good bees gone bad. We're always up to no good, hungry, tough and my advice is to leave us alone, especially our queen. Some people feel sorry for us, say we're from a broken hive. 
Well, I got some news for them. We eat those social workers alive. We are good bees gone bad, killer bees. Good bees gone bad. Good bees gone bad, killer bees. Good bees gone bad. Buzz with me. A little uh, sting along there. We're coming to your town and we are fighting mad. We'll beat the crap out of all your little bees. Take whatever honey they have. Your poisons for breakfast and then we scream for more You can step on one of us But look out when we swarm Because we're good bees gone bad Killer bees, good bees gone bad Good bees gone bad Killer bees, good bees gone bad We come from Mexico with evil on our minds We don't care about the border patrol We laugh as we fly by This is the land of milk and honey We are here to stay We're not the kind of bees that you can shoo away Killer bees. I call it killer bees now. I think I called it good bees gone bad back then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Best song you ever wrote. I said, all right, shit, I'll take it. All these songs are available for free at jeanburnett.com. I have 40 albums there. It helps to know what album the song you're looking for is on. So if... Um, I'm not positive. I have a version of killer bees on there. I probably do. But um, if it made it to one of my albums that I have on my website, there's 40 of them, um, every YouTube video that I make, and I've got, I think everything that's on the website, there's a video of, I'm almost positive. And um, if you go to the video and look in the description, it'll tell you what album it's on and a link to jeanburnett.com. Go there, click on musical recordings, scroll around till you find that album, hit the player, go to the player, look at the song, right click on the little arrow on the, or whatever click it is on the, the little arrow on the right. And, you're, and the song's yours. It's downloaded to you free. Or you can just listen. So that's my offering to the world. Um, okay, last one. <laughs> This one actually is not on the website yet because it's a new song and it will be on um, this year's album project, which I hope to start in the next mm, few weeks or so. I'm rehearsing the songs. You see a music stand back there. Right there. That's my 25 songs that I've written since the last album. And damn it, the, pile, the file's too big. I can't, I can't write anymore, so I got to stop writing and record these suckers, and then I can go back to writing, which is a happy day. But I do enjoy recording as well. So anyway, this one is in response to a Southern Oregon Songwriters Association songwriting challenge that we gave each other at the end of last year. Uh, one of them was write a song about an insect. Or about insects, or the where insects figure prominently. And here we go. 
the first one was Praying Mantis Blues, by the way. The second one, Killer Bees. Now we're going to the Mayfly Blues. <laughs> Woke up this morning on the last day of my life. Woke up this morning on the last day of my life. Time flies for the mayfly. Time flies. I spend my youth under. Water. Now I finally got my wings. I spent my youth underwater. Now I finally got my wings. Time flies for the mayfly. Soon those wings won't mean a thing. I'm heading down to the sandbar I just gotta find a mate I'm heading down to the sandbar I've just gotta find a mate Time flies for the mayfly I just hope I'm not too late Our day is numbered, baby, let's just cut the chase Our day is numbered, baby, come on, what do you say? Woke up this morning on the last day of my life Woke up this morning on the last day of my life. Time flies for the mayfly. Time flies. Our day is numbered, baby. Let's just cut the chase. Look me over, baby, come on, what do you say? Woke up this morning on the last day of my life. Woke up this morning on the last day of my life. Time flies for the mayfly, time flies. Time flies for the mayfly, time There you have it, Mayfly Blues from, uh, yeah, this year, um, soon to be recorded on the new album. So uh, Sunday nights, 8 o'clock, Facebook, and here, uh, if you've got some, uh, some new music you want to share, or even some old music you want to share with me, because we are uh, feeling, you're feeling some kind of kinship, some kind of friendship with either me or my page or my music or whatever, and you want me to just hear a little bit of what you do, Post it right under this video, Sunday night, 8 o'clock, or over there on Facebook is even better. And uh, and I will listen to it. I listen to my musical friends on Sunday nights. That's what I do. And until I just get so bombarded with uh, CDs and music that I have to not listen to some of them, I listen to all of the ones that I've got. So I'm, you know, I have my links and I have my things that I'm working my way through and I'm always looking for more. So thank you for listening. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll see you next week with a new theme. Uh, I do a theme every week because I got so many damn tunes. I, I got to narrow it down a little bit, but uh, by no means asking that anyone else do that. 
Uh, you don't need to have a theme or match a theme. Just an album of any kind or songs of any kind will be good enough to get my attention. All right. See you next time. Take good care. Breathe deep, you know, because whenever we see you, uh, we'd like to actually see you. All right.